hours up. Um, I'm just off here now to get filters. Um, when I say filters, I mean an engine oil filter and probably two fuel filters for the CVX. Um, I was going on about servicing it and only getting around to it now. Um, had planned to do it all morning, but electricity was out at home. So getting in and out of the shade just would have been that bit more awkward. Um, misting away all morning. Uh, but I think tomorrow's dry, so we'll probably be at some outing tomorrow. So I will try and get this job done without too much delay. Um, I also got these um, USB plugs, I suppose you call them, off of um, online. And I have the cigarette lighter out of the CVX with a bit. Uh, I did intend on doing this. Uh, because your cigarette lighters just are constantly making and breaking the connection and it's fierce and eye in there if you have to charge your phone. So I'll be replacing the cigarette lighter with that and we'll see how we get on. Um, it shouldn't be of any ordeal or anything so once I get back up with the filters I will stick a bit of footage up of that. I will show you the um, USB cigarette lighter type thing and we'll take it from there. So yeah, that's a roundup of what this video will probably be about. Um, look, I mean, there's nothing too too much to what we're going to do, but sure. If you're going to share any of it, you might as well share it oh. all. So we'll see how we go. I just have that loosely put back on. Uh, I haven't any of the screws in yet, so we'll make sure it works. I don't think it matters whether you go to the top one or the bottom one, so look, we try the bottom one. No, oh, that's in. And nothing. Um the power button here, surely do something. Yeah, that's on now anyway. And we're still not charging. No, charging now. Uh, this lead wouldn't be great, I'd say, but as you can see, it's charging. So, that's a good job, I think. A um, lot better than the flimsy cigarette lighter. So, I think I'll be doing that to the rest of them in due course, but don't think there's any need to fill in that. For now, I'll get that back on there, the rest of them screws in, and I will get to changing the oil. So, we'll see you in a few minutes. Now... That is the old engine oil draining way into that. My filter is here. My drain plug is at the other side. I know by the forward, or sorry, I know by that drum that it's going to take a bit more oil than that. But I have them filled already just to make the video a bit less boring. I won't be coming and going. You'll just see me standing here. I'm going to take the filter off here now. Uh, the other filter is behind me as well. Um, so I'd say from that angle you'll probably see the whole lot. So I'll just whip this filter off. Should come off relatively easily. Um, we're just changing the engine oil, uh, mainly because I did forget to get the diesel filters. Um, all these tractors within. 150 hours do a thousand hours a year uh, Some of them will probably do over it and some of them will probably do under it. So They get their back end dials changed and their filters and all that kind of crack every year once a year um, And then during the summer months we just change our engine oils and our fuel filters bear we suspect Anything is up inside in the transmission or the back end we don't go near the hydraulic filters other than that. Um, I'm just going to pop over and get the new filter. So I'll be back in a second. Now, as you can see, I'm after oil in the seal on this. 
I don't actually know whether that's good practice or not, but it's habit. Um, so this, I always do it. I've always done it. Probably a trick my father told me, I would imagine. But uh, I don't know if everybody does that or not. So if you don't do that, stick it in the comments and tell us why or has there any been any ever been any repercussions to not doing that as you can see i'm just going hand tight with that um i will go to the other side now and i'll squeeze my sump stud which you may or may not be able to see uh, it's not in the best of places to get at it is up there so you could have a cat no crossing in front of the camera. Yeah. I'll just leave that there for one second. And we'll squeeze the sump stud. I suppose getting it up there is the toughest bit. Once you have a couple of threads in your find it. So let's try it on there now. I'll give it a squeeze, don't I forget it. I have the socket here now with me. Uh, that drum can be moved now because it is no longer needed. I would say only once, but probably several times it has happened that uh, I've left that drum there and reversed out and the whole lot's over the floor. So not ideal to say the least um, once I get this squeezed up now we can fill the trap for a while and that will be more or less done so yeah that's that much done um, I'll stick this back up here should be able to see me putting in the oil from there I'd imagine some of it anyway um, when I have this job done I will try and reset the service light in the tractor which has been on for the last two services because I can't remember how to do it so I'll have to give a quick look in the book but it shouldn't be too complex Now I'll put this jug in first because it has no uh, nozzle on it, I suppose we call it. Um, starting to rain there now, which isn't exactly ideal with this job either, but what can one do? This is going to be fairly unedited footage. Um, probably a lot of time and effort to go into editing it, possibly. And I'm not going to start doing that at the moment. As we get a bit more advanced, we might do that, but we'll see how we get on. This is going to be a pretty long winded video actually for just basically changing the oil. But I'm sure somebody will watch it. Anybody that is watching it and not subscribing, please subscribe. Um, the more views the channel gets, the more activity that's on the channel. The more different things that will be filmed and various bits and pieces. Probably more that will be spent on the channel. Um, more, edit more effort will probably go into editing and probably be a more machinery work instead of talking which I'd, I'd assume is what most people want to see um, like when I go watching YouTube do I watch people that are talking? bits and pieces uh, I could go through a phase I could go through a phase of watching people talking for a week or two and then I mightn't watch anybody talking for another week or two so like I say 
just a phase. Uh, we're not touching the dipstick yet. I have one more jug to put in. Fairly sure to take all of this, but shove in half of it anyway, and we'll see what kind of a reading we're getting. That filter will probably take some drop as well. The sideways filter is a bit annoying. I remember the old John Deere's, they used to have an upright filter, and that was very annoying. Um, just a straight up one is a bit cleaner. Have we anything yet? Mm, just touching it there now, I would say. Yeah, we're just touching it now, just on the minimum. So, we won't have enough to do it, but I'm not going to bore you with the details of me going in and filling another uh, two or three litres. So, once I've this in, we'll see where we're at. Um, I will go and get the bit that's needed. But like I say, I don't think there's any need to film that, so. You can see there we're quarter way up, I suppose you'd call it. So, I'm going to get another 3 litres and we'll leave it at that. 